guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching The Legend of Korra. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are watching episodes five and six of season two of The Legend of Korra. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I really like Varric. Um, there's just enough of him just enough of him. It's not too much. It's not overly done. I don't know if they start getting heavy handed with it or not, but uh, I really, really enjoy what he brings to the show. Um, I did not think at all that we would get a character that would be inside of a platypus bear. Now, is her name Julie? Oh my god, I keep thinking Judy. Julie, Judy. Uh, you know, He's not the nicest to her. Bothers me ever so slightly. Uh, I know that it's for comic relief. Um, yeah, not a fan of that. But I do enjoy him in general as a character and just kind of like what he brings to the table. You know, he's like that rich eccentric guy that is just out there and weird and quirky. And I appreciate people like that. And, you know, speaking of weird and quirky, uh, Eska, she's like weird and quirky in a different way, in a, maybe a darker way, <laughs> in a quieter way, uh, until we see her at the very end and she's coming for her man. She wants Bolin, <laughs> her betrothed, her beloved, her boyfriend. Uh, she looks insane, but also, uh, I don't know, I kind of dig it. <laughs> I don't like the way she treats Bolin. Let's just say that, that that is not a great relationship. The back and forth is very, very unhealthy, and uh, he very much wants to get out of that relationship. You know, I, I'm not going to I'm not gonna be the person that says, hey, change, uh, and then, you know, maybe you have a shot with him or not. But, uh, I mean, I think, I, I, I don't know how I feel about Eska. There's times I want to say that, like, I like her, and then there's other times where I'm like, no, no. <laughs> She's an interesting character and I appreciate her. I'll say that much. Now, I'm glad that we finally got kind of the the, the angry Cora that was, you know, really um, lashing out at her parents. Um, I th I'm glad we got that that relationship resolved and, and that they had their moment where they had their hugs and their I'm sorry's and explanations, which I'm glad that they kind of explained why her parents didn't want to tell her that they were keeping her in a bubble specifically and keeping her away from Republic City and keeping her in the Southern Water Tribe and how Tenzin was kind of part of that. Um, you know, it, it was mildly to protect her, but it was also to just kind of have as normal of a life as possible. When you have the Avatar as your child, that's not going to be the thing that you have for a very long time. So they wanted to cherish those moments. And, you know, I appreciate that about her parents. And in... I don't know if her dad would have been the best person to deliver that. I think her mom saying it is really what we needed. I think Cora knows that her father would do anything to protect her, would do anything to help her, um, and ultimately wants to see her succeed, but, you know, is, is, is scared of, you know, I don't want to say losing his little girl, but, you know, of her getting hurt or of things going wrong or her being manipulated by someone he doesn't trust, like his brother. Um, and rightfully so, finding out that uh, Unatak was responsible for Tanrak getting banished in the first place and that he staged that whole thing. Like I, I said before, like he was playing the long game because he did that way prior, like 20 years prior. Uh, yeah, that's that's something. He, he wanted to become chief. He wanted power. And I don't know why I was just thinking of Littlefinger. That's really... I don't know if they're one and the same or not, but uh, I, I definitely don't trust Unalak. But I want to know, like, what what is his intention with gaining power in the South? Is it just having, like, the North and the South and having the, the power, the cap of the, the Earth? Or, you know, like, what, what, what exactly is his motivation for that? Because um, I feel like the, the Special Forces, United... United Forces... I feel like people are going to have a problem with that. <laughs> and I don't know if we get our General Iroh back uh, or not, but if he's here, I'm okay with it. <laughs> and I also want to see more from Tenzin and the kids, especially with Iki and, and uh, uh, ooh, Janora. <laughs> uh, 
I'm 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 a little sleepy right now. I've 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 gotten some caffeine in my system and I'm trying to like get the synapses firing. But yeah, I want to see more from Iki and Janora. Um I I absolutely love that we've gotten the moments from Janora where she's definitely connecting spiritually to certain things, especially the avatars and and when Korra connects the the north and the south i guess that's a connection i don't know she opens the portal in the in, in the south and janora you know had a sense of that and then she was there for it and witnessed the statue do its thing <laughs> do it thing yeah um and then of course iki you know she had gr a great moment with tenzin about them talking about their siblings and yeah like they're not perfect but like there's always good things about them and I think that Tenzin really needed to hear that. And I think he also needed to know that, like, Aang wasn't perfect. And that, you know, they had a different experience for their childhood than he did. And he might have been the favorite. But I also think Aang, you know, he acted out of, of you know, this, this need to reestablish the Air Nomads. And I feel like Tenzin's the same way about having the kids with somebody who is not a bender. Is that the, there's a high probability of them being air nomads or, you know, being airbenders to become air nomads. Um, and I, I think that Aang had a heavy weight on his shoulders to bring back a culture and Tenzin has a heavy weight on his shoulders to also bring back that culture and reestablish that culture. And I think that that is a beautiful thing, but I do see how it could possibly have taken away a lot of magic from the other kids, from Kaya and Bumi. I think that like they would love to have spent that time with their father. I don't know why they couldn't have gone with them. I think that that would have made them like very worldly and would have, you know, let them see a, a side of their father. Yes, I know Bumi, you know, he can't bend at all. And, you know, Kaya is only a waterbender. But I, I feel like, you know, he... He could, you know, teach Kaya a thing or two about waterbending. Probably not as much as Katara, let's face it. Um, you know, and then like Boomy just meeting different people, whether they are benders or non-benders and just learning from them. You know, that was Sokka. Everywhere he went, he was learning from people constantly. And I think that that would have been amazing for them. Alas, that was not uh, how they were raised. And I don't know if Boomy, I don't think Boomy's married or has any kids. And I don't think Kaya has mentioned anything about being married or having kids and then somebody had said something about the fortune teller told Katara that she would have four grandchildren. Um, so that's Tenzin's kids. Um, so I, I guess, I guess Bumi and Kaya don't get any. That's sad. Um, well, I mean, kind of. I, I don't plan on having kids and I'm not sad about it. And other people are probably sad for me. But, you know, uh, if if they wanted children and couldn't have them, that's the other story. And we got a little bit from Asami, like helping them escape and flying the plane and everything. But uh, I feel like we need a really heavy Asami episode. Um, I want more about her and what she's going through for future industries. Uh, of course, with Varric, he is in business with her. And then, of course, they are on this ship headed, I think, uh, special forces. Because I know Tonrock can't go back to the Southern Water Tribe. I don't know if that means he's going to go north or somewhere else. Um, but, you know, Varric, Asami, Mako, Korra, and Bolin, maybe Eska, uh, are all headed elsewhere. So, uh, if, but if we could get, like, how Asami's doing, let's, let's catch up with our girl, because I adore her and I want what's best for her. Oh, and somebody had told me that the first six episodes, the animation was done by a different studio, and that's why I thought it looked weird after um, episodes one and two. And definitely I still keep seeing that, so I will be very happy to get the regular animators back on the next set of reactions. Uh, I'm glad somebody told me that because I was just like, dang, did like they, like I don't know, have a budget cut or something? And I guess it was just different animators for whatever reason. I, everyone's just like Nickelodeon. <laughs> But you know what? They gave us this show. So thank you. But don't ever switch your animators again. Okay? Thanks. And it's really interesting that Unalak also said that he didn't need Korra to open up the northern portal. Um, so mm, I don't. I don't know what her next move is. <laughs> I don't know what anyone's next move is. And I'm very eager and excited to find out. So guys, let's do the thing. I don't know if I should start doing that now or not. It didn't feel natural. It's like, roll the thing, or let's get into it. Like my, my, my regular, do the thing. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> Hello. 
Welcome home, Avatar. Thanks for starting a war. Ooh. I didn't start a war. Well, I did, but it's more complicated than you're <laughs> making it seem. Mako, I want you back on the beat. There's going to be a Southern Water Tri Peace March tonight. I'll go too. The people of the South need to see that the Avatar is on their side in the fight against the Northern invaders. Great. That should calm them down. <laughs> Maybe you should sit this out. What? I just think having you there blatantly supporting one side will only make things worse. I think so too, personally. The only reason I'm here is to get the Republic to send troops to help the South. Julie's already scheduled a meeting for us with President Raiko tomorrow. I gotta go to work. I better go check on my factory. I am dying for a pedicure! <laughs> I hate that. Uh, what should I be doing? Figure something out. Aww. What do you got, hey, Baron? Yeah. Have you ever seen Republic City at night? Sure, I live here. Have you really? Oh. Seen... No? That's what I thought. Like nightlife? <laughs> Increase security around the spirit portal. Yes, sir. Huh. Oh! <laughs> What's up, girl? I need you two to go after the Avatar. She's the only one who can open the Northern Spirit Portal. Oh, so the she is the only one. Told Korra. I told Korra what I thought she needed to hear. I'll find her. She stole my husband. That's not what happened. I need her alive. Fine. She was gonna kill her? Yikes. Hey, buddy. Watch me, Pokey. You lay down and roll over. Roll over. No, no, you can't just demonstrate it. That never works. Good. You went sleepy time. Classic over-rewarding. <laughs> Calm down, Tenzin. Pokey, where are you going? Having some trouble, son. Pokey isn't very good at learning. Believe me, I know the feeling. <laughs> how would you like your old dad to teach you how to be a master trainer? Yeah! Let's see how this goes. I do enjoy his time with his kids, though. The Avatar is leading a group of Southerners in a peaceful protest against Chief Unala. Get a real job! <laughs> Get a real job. <laughs> Stop! Republic City Police! It's like I'm gonna blow something up, right? Yep. Okay. Did I miss that that statue is Sokka with his boomerang until just now? Are those guys from the triad, or...? Is that Sokka with a boomerang? The Northern Water Tribe is out of control. I saw a firebender running away from the blast. Yeah. The North might not be responsible for this. Of course they're responsible. Who else would it be? Cora, stop. Wow. Okay. Usually, when I see flashing lights like this, it's because I got hit in the head with a rock. Being <laughs> famous is like getting hit with a rock all the time. I don't know if that's good for you. Look! It's falling! <laughs> Good for you, buddy. Enjoy it, because that's going to come and take that away from you. Bolin, the fire ferrets are out for the season. How have you been spending your time lately? I took a trip south for the Glacier Spirits Festival. Was accidentally involved in a civil war. <laughs> Just accidentally. But there's nowhere I'd rather be than pro bending night in Republic City. Am I right, people? Republic City! Yeah, he's our sports boy. He needs to be doing this. Do you miss being in the ring? I definitely don't miss getting hit with things all the time. I mean, that gets pretty old. You know, sometimes I actually cry myself to sleep. Oh. <laughs> I guess what I miss the most are these fans! Give it up for the fans! Oh. He needs to be able to share those feelings. Look how these people love you, kid. Whenever I get confused, I just say, Republic City, or fans, and then everyone cheers. I think I just figured out your true calling. What's that? Sportscaster? I hope President Raiko listens to us. Don't worry. I was a big contributor to his election campaign. Mm -hmm. Him and the other guy. Gotta hedge your bets. <laughs> the Southern Water Tribe? Just a second. Keep smiling. Eh. Eh. <laughs> now, 
How can I help the Avatar and my most generous supporter? Mm. Unalak's troops have invaded the South. I'm very concerned by what's happening down there. But I don't think it's the Republic's place to interfere with internal Water Tribe matters. The Republic is already involved in this conflict. The North attacked our cultural center last night. We are doing everything we can to bring the people responsible to justice. Are you? Who else would it be but the Northerners? Now, I know that when you're young, it's hard to keep perspective. You're the one who's lost Cora, perspective. Cora, sit down. Sending <sighs> troops is not something I can do at this time. My family is going to be wiped out, and it'll be on your head for doing nothing about it. <sighs> She's just so harsh sometimes. <sighs> I can't believe the president is doing nothing. He, he doesn't even care. I'm sure he cares, but he can't just tell his people to go fight a battle at the South Pole that has nothing to do with them. Yep. How could you take his side? He's... <laughs> What's with you and sides? I'm trying to get troops to the South. What are you doing? I'm doing my job. Don't let me stand in the way of you writing tickets. I'm just trying to save the world. <sighs> well, you wouldn't have to if you didn't keep messing it up. I can't talk to you when you're like this. God. I'm... You're the one who's like this. I'm with you, Mako. <laughs> Like, girl, just calm down. Take a breath. Whoa. Hey, in a hurry? I have to talk to Varric. Yeah, me too. Oh, no. Er. <laughs> I thought they got attacked. Never mind. We can't wait for the president to act. And my company is about to go under. Right. Okay. Idea storm. Yeah, here we go. You're about to get an inside look at how Varric Global Industries stays at the forefront of imagination innovation, or imagivation. That's trademark, pal. Mm, okay. Brain work requires increased circulation. Okay. Let's do this! Does it end upside down? Okay, here come the ideas. How does he not throw up? Curious. Radio for pets. Uh, hand shoes. Hand shoes? Like gloves? We don't need the president. We just need the troops. I know General Iroh. He might be willing to help us. Perfect. And you need to sell some mecha tanks. I know some people who need them. Uh -huh. We'll ship them south. That's perfect. Lots of money and more. If you can't make money during a war, you just flat out cannot make money. It'll be crazy <laughs> risky. But I love crazy risky! End storm! Okay. As soon as people see this, they'll be lining up to fight Unalak. Julie, do the, uh, the thing. Do the, the, the thing. What is this? I had a film crew documenting the entire northern invasion. Oh, whoa! <laughs> We're gonna cut this footage together with scenes we shoot of our superstar Bolin here. No one will root for the north after they see the adventures of Nuktuk. Hero of the South! Nuktuk. Propaganda. Something doesn't make sense about this bombing. I just don't buy that the Northern Water Tribe was behind it. I don't buy it either. That's him! That's the guy that attacked the center! I gotta go show this to Beifong. Morlin! Yay! All right, Milo. The first thing you need to do as a trainer is establish dominance. <laughs> you are in charge. Now call Pokey. Pokey, come here. Well, you have to be assertive, not mean. <laughs> Pokey, no! You're rewarding him for bad behavior. But he's tickling me. <laughs> I'm surprised they actually let him have a you lemur. Can't let him nap in the bed with you. You are the alpha lemur. He has to sleep on the floor. Aww. I think all of us that have pets are guilty of that. No, Pokey, this is my bed. Being oh. alpha lemur is lonely. Yeah, that sucks. This is the guy I saw sneaking out of the building right before the explosions. Someone must have hired him to make it look like northerners attacked the cultural center. You're just gonna put it in your desk? Listen, kid, it was a northern water tribe, okay? Give it a rest, Super Cap. You guys suck. Do your job. I've heard good things about you. You've made some big triad busts for a rookie. And you're dating the Avatar, right? Mm. I'm concerned that she might be getting some bad advice from Varric. You wouldn't happen to know if they're plotting anything that might compromise the security of Republic City? Don't do it. Don't do it, Mako. 
You're a man of the law before anything else. Yes, sir. Well, keep up the good work. <sighs> Wait. Uh. There's something you should know. I mean, he's doing the right thing. <laughs> Thank you for seeing me, General Iro. What can I do? What's up, babe? The South needs military support before Unalak wipes them out completely. Suppose I were to take the fleet south on some routine training maneuvers. And let's say we were to accidentally run into a hostile northern blockade. We'd have no choice but to defend ourselves, wouldn't we? Yep. I guess you wouldn't. Thank you. Swapping old war stories. Damn it. <laughs> I hope you're not planning to take any military action without an order from your commander-in-chief. Your activities here are bordering on insurrection. The Avatar does not command the military of the Republic. It's very true. Don't go behind my back again. As you were, General Iroh. Don't go yell at him. That's not going to solve anything either. My hands are officially tied. But you should talk to the Fire Lord. My mother and grandfather have always been good friends to the Avatar. I'm sure they'll be willing to help. Thank you, General. <sighs> grandfather? Oh my. Oh my. Bolin! Wouldn't I be cold wearing this outfit in the snow? Nuck Tuck is never cold. He is smoking hot! I mean, she's not bad either. I need a boat. What happened with General Iro? He was going to help, but then President Raiko showed up. Someone must have tipped him off, but no one knew about it except for us and Asami. And Mako. Mako? What? There's no way Mako would have told. Uh-huh. Right? <laughs> I can't get over Bolin. He's so smoking hot in that outfit. Pokey, sit. Roll over. Oh, good job! Well done, Milo. I knew you could learn to train Pokey. Not just Pokey. I train all the lemurs. Watch! What? Milo! What the heck? Kid, you're amazing! <laughs> I created a monster. A little bit, but like, not bad. Maybe we should forget about all this training oh. discipline for now. Why don't you and Pokey just have fun and play? Thanks, Dad. Oh. Training makes me tired. Oh. <laughs> That's amazing, though. <laughs> you are released. Oh. Cora. You ratted me out to the president? The president of the republic asked me a direct question. You betrayed me and my family. Calm down. I can't. I can't. Look, I have a job to do. I can't constantly be worrying about keeping you from making another huge mistake. Well, I have a job to do, too. Only it seems like you're always standing in the way of me getting it done. I guess if we're both putting our jobs first, maybe there's no room for our relationship. Yes. But break up. Yes. I'm, I'm all for that. It's done. Are you breaking up with me? Yeah. I guess I am. Yep, it's not working out. And, and you just went to his job and kicked his desk. Come on. What the flamio happened here? <laughs> what the flamio happened here? I broke up with the Avatar. You got off easy. You should have seen Air Temple Island after Tenzin broke up with me. Oh, I would pay money to see that. It's a matter of fact. Oh, is it Eska? Yep. <laughs> she looks so crazy. <laughs> it's your cousin. Calm down. Oh, wow. Okay, these two. I'm happy to get more from them than just drab, emotionless faces. Very emotional. Very, very emotional. What is that? Oh, is it a spirit? Yep. Can you do the little dancey prancy thing? Oh, guess not. And above water is not the best place to be doing that. There we go. She looks dope. Oh. It's the second time she's almost done it and it stopped. Yeah, you know, physically fighting the spirits doesn't work. 
Is she in the spirit Hebei style? Is she going to the spirit realm? Oh! Oh, you jerk faces. Abrupt endings. And Sakura's just underwater somewhere. We're not going to start with her. gonna be happy about this oh was that with the tanks on it shoot father said he would meet us at this location he'll be here oh oh he just came out of it sorry i had to turn my heating blanket on this cold made me actually cold were you just in the spirit world never mind that yeah how was he just in the spiritual world the avatar is dead nah no <laughs> <laughs> Not to show me those abs again, Bolin. Look at that! Look at that! Heartthrob is what he is. The Southern Water Tribe is mine. Next, I will conquer the world with my waterbending doomsday device! Wow, Varric got this movie done in a good click. Don't worry, Juji and Rotan. Juji and Rotan. For I am Nuktuk, hero of the South! You're not just the hero of the South. You're our best friend. <laughs> Nuktukity. You two are the best snow raccoon in Arctic Panda a guy could ask for. <laughs> Who's gonna fight for friends and freedom, Nuktuk? He's the biggest, baddest, stunningest man I know. Who protects the icy tundra, not dark? Battling out there in the snow. Battling Northies out there in the snow. He's not dark, the hero of the south. Okay, yeah, propaganda film. Uh, it's fun, though. Good job, Bolin. Look up there. What do you see? A star being born. You're a star. People love stars. He's a heartthrob. Have you ever tried to force a monkey marmot to ride a bicycle? Not that I can recall. What's a monkey marmot? You can't force monkey marmots to do anything. They've got to want to do it themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Not so fast, evil Unalak. Oh, I will save my true love and the South. All right. Wait, is he... <laughs> Flying? <laughs> now your time is up. <laughs> oh god, it's so embarrassing. It's like he's an earthbender and he's water bending. My anti-energy net makes bending impossible. Power weakening. <laughs> Look terrible. <laughs> Will this be the end of not talking? <laughs> god. Find out next week on The Adventures of Noctuck, Hero of the South! Proud of you, Bolin. We got some major chemistry on screen. Not really. Am I right? Yeah, on screen. Yeah. <laughs> Another one of your ships has been captured. Haven't I told you I hate getting bad news without first getting good news? Stop yelling at her! The good news is it looks like your first mover has gotten a great reception. That's old news! Oh. Let's go. It's so harsh to her we were ambushed about 30 clicks outside the harbor this is the third attack this week uh, all this stress is gonna turn old black beauty gray Gross. it's gotta be northern water tribe they're trying to stop supply lines to the south it 100 percent isn't the bombs exploded in a way i've never seen before it was like they were being detonated remotely again where are you going i gotta grab some evidence how come Varric can just walk in here? I can't believe they took my fifth favorite ship in the Varric Industries fleet. Named her after my mom. Rest in peace, Rocky Bottom. <laughs> Did any of the people who attacked you have one of these in their hand? It was too dark to see anything. Chief, I don't think the people who attacked were Northern Water Tribe. I don't think so either. Of course they were Northern Water Tribe. They were water bending. Was this one of the guys who attacked? No, I don't recognize him. Oh, that's embarrassing. You're embarrassing. I hate these guys. 
Great work, everybody. Another open and shut case for the dynamic mustachio duo. I think Maka might be onto something. I know it's a long shot, but I have an idea how we can catch these guys. How are these people just walking in on a questioning? I don't want to hear your lame-brained rookie ideas. Now hit the street and do your job. <laughs> I don't like Lynn in this one. Mako, I need your help. Future Industries is all I have left of my family. I want to help you, but this is more than a two-person job. First of all, we'd need a ship. <laughs> I need a ship. I got a ship. I want in on whatever you're talking about. I love being in on plans. His fourth the favorite ship, you know, probably. Perfect. I love not knowing things. All right, I'm in. Let's get these guys. Well, that was easy to sway him to go against Chief Beifong, and he couldn't go against the president. Let's get this sting operation going. We need some extra manpower. What about Cora? Right. Uh. Cora. Missing. Underwater. Somewhere. Forget about Cora. I'll go talk to Bolin. Hey, Mako! Oh, a hot tub? It turns out that one of the perks of being a star, you get lots of cash. Cool. Is this a marble statue of you? Sure is. It's also a hat rack. <laughs> we don't even have hats. That's because we've never had a hat rack. It's fair point. Mako, you seem stressed. I think you need to take a little dippity dip. There's no bubbles. It's just a bath at this point. I'm trying to catch who's ever been attacking the shipments and I need your help. I don't know. I'm kind of busy. Bolin! I'm maintaining my instrument. As an actor, my body is my instrument. <laughs> so that's a no. What am I supposed to do now? Figure it out. Remember? That's what you said to me. Hurts, doesn't it? Yeah, a little bit. Turnabout's fair play. Ow! My instrument! <laughs> I'm running an off-the-books operation, and I thought the triple threats might want a piece of the action. <laughs> How big a piece? I don't know if you want to get in with these guys. I've got vehicles, all brand new and top of the line. They can be yours if you help. I think we got ourselves a deal. <sighs> I feel like this is going to fail, and it's going to put Future Industries back even more. What's it like dating the Avatar? Come on, Marco, I gotta know! It's a pain in the ass is what it is. I broke up with her. You broke up? Why didn't you tell me? Why would she? Why would he? <laughs> You broke up with the Avatar. Like, that happened. It, is it not possible for someone to break up with the Avatar? Sure he did. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, will you guys knock it off and do your job? Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> I'll never leave you. I don't think that was scripted. There's no kiss in the script. Yeah. Sorry, I just kind of lost myself in the moment. It just felt so right. Oh, boy. Your girlfriend's about to die, and instead of untying her, you kiss her. Yeah. Wait a minute. Maybe that will work. Oh, God. Everybody take five. Except for you, Julie. I've got some neck hair issues to resolve. Gross. So, that kiss. I liked it. You didn't ask her if she... You didn't ask her if it was okay. And that's why they call me Two-Toed Pink. Yeah, uh, because you have two extra toes. Uh, that's right. Oh, that gave me and the was already a chills. Ping on the south side. Uh, Twelve-Toed Pink. <laughs> we were paid to keep Mako and that dame distracted for a few hours, so that's what we're gonna do. Dang it! I just overheard Shady Shin and Viper. We've been double-crossed. We have to get off this ship. She, the more while well, they're empty crates, never mind. <laughs> Good thing Asami's there to drive that boat. Oh, I got my money on Asami. 100%. Oh, they didn't get very far from Republic City, huh? Where's Korra? They're getting closer. Not for long. Uh, We're not gonna make it. Oh. My god, Asami. You are nuts, girl. One down, one to go. Oh! We're 
Someone paid the triple threats to keep us distracted. From what? Yeah, from what? Oh no. Oh, they're at attack. Or they're gonna take all the mecha tanks. Whoever paid the triple threats stole everything. I'm ruined. Yeah. My company. It's over. She doesn't deserve this. Everything I had was in here. We have to search the place for evidence. If we can find a lead. It doesn't matter anymore. Don't give up. It's over. I give up. Don't give up. I'm not giving up on you. <gasps> yeah, that's... Sorry. Probably not the best thing to do, but... Um... Anyway, I'm gonna find out who did this. And I know just who to ask. Hmm? <laughs> that's the guy. You're not mad about last night, are you? No, no, no. Who hired you to double cross us? I don't know. I think you do know. And you're going to tell me, or we're going to have to change your name to No Toad Ping. <laughs> After you left the hideout, some mook showed up and said his boss would pay us to keep you distracted. Please, I would never lie to you with my lucky toes on the line. <laughs> lucky toes. <sighs> I'm a popcorn. I'm like, really bad. Have you seen Varric around? Bowl in. Nook Tuck. Oh my god. Hello, Mako. Didn't notice you there. Where's Varric? I need to ask him something. <laughs> I can't say that I've seen him. Wish I could stand around here and chit chat, but you know, I gotta go shoot my big scene. Good for you, buddy. Go live your life. Do the thing. And action. Ginger, stay down! I'm coming for you! Oh, wait. Yeah. How did you rig those explosions to go off like that? It's those guys. Yeah. It's a Varric Industries exclusive. Here, check it out. The explosions use a remote detonator. Varric. Varric has all the tanks. Asami, I think I know who set us up. What are you doing here? He just saved my company. Varric bought a controlling interest in future industries. Yep. I like to think I'm always there to stand up for the little guy. So what were you saying, Mako? You think you know who hired the triple threats? Yeah, and I'm real close to proving it. I'll fill you in later. I really liked Varric. He's a snake too. Makes me sad. Hey, girl. You on a lion turtle or just a island? Uh. Oh, Fire Nation? <gasps> Oh, oh it's just chill. We're here to help you, Avatar Korra. Who's Avatar Korra? What? She has amnesia? I can't remember anything. Uh. I did not think amnesia from the the spirit was a possibility. That wasn't enough. That wasn't enough. That wasn't enough. I need more. Okay, uh, not my favorite two episodes. Um, I went from like really liking Varric to really not liking Varric fairly quickly. Um, I, I just, I don't like Asami being manipulated by him, especially with the loss of everything she had left of her company. I mean, obviously he's behind it. And obviously it's to get her company. I really wanted to like him. I don't feel like he's like a bad person. He's just... Snaky. Between him and Unalak. Snakes. Well, you know, I'm happy Bolin found a calling. Um, <laughs> it's acting and it's bad acting. He's our guy. Um, I, it, it's a really interesting thing um, for Varric to make. Now I'm trying to like piece it all together as I'm sitting here. But the fact that he is Southern Water Tribe, and of course he's making the Northern Water Tribe look bad by making this, you know, picture of this Southern Water Tribe hero, uh, definitely propaganda. I'm like trying to piece it all together. Like, 
does he want it for movies or does he want it because he wants war? I mean, he did say that there's money in war. So, I'm so, I'm so confused about Varric right now. I think, I think I want to like him and that's why, that's why I'm having a hard time with it. Um, it was nice to see Tenzin and, and Milo having their moment with the lemurs. Like, I was just kind of like, no, he can just have a lemur for a friend. And I was actually really surprised that, you know, Pokey was still a thing. Him getting all of the lemurs to do what he wanted to, that's, that's amazing. But then him saying like, oh yeah, he's like, it just, it makes me so sleepy. And he just wants to have fun. And, you know, Tenzin's just like, kind of like, yeah, I know what that's like. Like, kind of like, you know, being in charge sucks. I, I love the moments that we get with Tenzin and his kids. One, because he's spending time now. He spent time with Iki and then Milo. And I think next we're probably going to get a little bit of Janora. And I love that because it's kind of the opposite of Aang. He's really spending time with all of his kids. Now, is it because they're all airbenders, so he has to equally spend time with them to make sure that they're being trained properly? I don't know, but um, it, I like to think that he learned something from Kaya and Boomi's experience uh, or their lack of experience with their father. Um, I don't care about <laughs> the breakup. And then the love triangle still being a thing. That's bleh. The Korra is like saying like, what, you're breaking up with me? Like you just stormed into his job, threw his desk across the room and yelled at him in front of his coworkers. Do you think that's healthy? That's not a good way to behave. And I get that she's a teenager, but like, also there's consequences to those actions, you know? And then her storming off out on the boat and getting attacked by a spirit. Well, I mean, I guess having her memory erased is a good thing. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I mean, I don't think it's gone for forever. Maybe she can connect to the spirit world again. Um, the fact that uh, she was kind of told, like, yeah, like, go visit uh, my my grandfather and my mom. You know, go talk to the Fire Lord. Are we going to see Zuko? <laughs> it's going to be a different voice. Because Iroh being voiced by Dante and then going to see Zuko, is he going to have a different voice? I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't know. Oh my god. But the fact that she's like around like Fire Nation people and they found her. <laughs> I'm excited for the prospect of what that brings for the future episodes because, uh, I mean, like it... It shouldn't be all about nostalgia and, and getting back with the fam and everything like that. But I do miss my friends and I do miss my family and I do want to see them again. Um, and I love that they're incorporated into the show, but they're not like heavily prominent. I think that that's one of the beautiful things about kind of like going into the future of where we were is that, you know, there there's still those those old remembrances the 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 that you have like all the the history there like the statue i'm pretty sure that was Sokka with a boomerang i like at first i like noticed it but then i was like looking past it and then i saw it again and i was like that looks like Sokka with a boomerang i think that'd be really cool and again this episode it was really really noticeable that the animation it's just off. Like when uh Eska and her brother are coming up on Korra like they had no faces um, it's just, I'll be happy in the next couple episodes when we have a regular animators back. It's not that it's bad. It's just, it's noticeably different than what we're accustomed to. Um, so I'll be pretty happy getting that back. But like, uh, what did, what did the spirit do to Korra? Is it teaching her a lesson? I don't know. Like she wasn't in the avatar state when, or was she in the avatar state? Now I can't remember. Yeah, and Lynn was really weird in this episode, too, just yelling at Mako, and I mean, I get her frustration, but she's normally very level-headed, although she said something about um, when he's like, oh, I just broke up with Korra, and she's like, you got away light, like, you wouldn't have wanted to see Air Temple Island when uh, Tenzin broke up with me, or vice versa, and it's just like... Oh, <laughs> yes, I would. I'd love to see that. Let's see that. Let's make a whole episode just about that. Oh, <laughs> fun. 
Uh, but yeah, not my favorite two episodes. I don't really, I think there seemed to be like a lot of arguing on Cora's side and I don't even want to say it's like bratty. It's just like, like she, she doesn't know anything other than fighting. Like she doesn't know how to be calm and diplomatic. And that's just something you learn over time. And I, I know that she's not equipped with those skills yet. Um, it's just the fact that she like yells at the president and then yells at Mako and then it's just fight, 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 and charge, charge, And I know she's afraid of what's happening to her people, and I know she wants to help them, and she's scared. And most of the time, when we act on stuff in an angry way, it's because we're afraid. And I, I, I would really like her to, like, I don't know, learn a lesson or two on this island. Maybe get her memory back and, like, realize that, like, she needs to just take a step back and, and maybe calmly talk to the president about, like, well, what can we do in the meantime to stop the North from attacking the South? Ultimately, that's what she needs to ask. And, and you know, like I said, you get more uh, attention with honey than you do with vinegar, so... I don't know. I feel so bad for Asami, but now she's got Varric, that's a stake owner in Future Industries, which now I don't trust Varric. Um, he seemed like the little, you know, little mustache curling creep that I didn't want to think he was, but now that's all I see. Hopefully it's a misunderstanding. I don't know if it is, but... I don't like being fooled. I don't like liking somebody and then them being like, not great. I was really excited for Varric. I was really liking Varric and now this is like, ew. And, and the way he treats Julie is just infuriating. I'm too much of a modern woman to put up with that. I know that like in the twenties, that's, you know, the, that's what you do to your assistant is you yell at her and you smack her on the ass and send her on the way. Um, huh. No. 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 And then Bolin, I mean, I'm happy for him that he found his thing and that he likes acting. Uh, the whole ginger thing, like, dude, you can't just kiss somebody without permission. Like, you gotta talk about that. Um, so hopefully he's learning a lesson there. But, like, I think, like, it's actually really suited for him to kind of do something where you don't really have to think very hard because we know that that's not really Bolin's forte. Um, and he gets to kind of be the, uh, cheerleader for the South and he gets to rock that outfit. I was like, damn boy, you look good. You got some thick stumps. His legs are, are chunky. Good for him. Good for him. And then of course, seeing Unalak walk out of the spirit realm, um, and even the kids kind of going like, were you just in the spirit realm or spirit world or whatever they said? And it was just kind of like, why was he in there? What was he doing? And the fact that he was in there and Korra had gone down inside the spirit, like, I don't know if those two things are linked. Like, was he responsible for that spirit coming up and getting her? I'm not sure. But guys, if you want to watch full-length reaction to these episodes, they will be available on my Patreon and up to four episodes early. That is two reactions. But in the meantime, like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. What do you think of these episodes? Because not my favorite. Not my favorite. I don't want everything to be like a complain fest. Um, but... I feel like I had a couple episodes during Avatar where I was just kind of like, oh, I feel very low energy after that. Like, it didn't didn't rev me up like it normally does. Um, I definitely got some good laughs out of some things, but um, all in all, I don't think it really did much moving the story forward other than the breakup with Mako and Korra, which, thank you. Like, there, that was very, very toxic behavior between the two of them. Um, Asami definitely still has feelings for Mako, but, like, she has no one. She has nothing. And now she has Varric. And it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Um, Bolin with the acting. Good for you, boo. Good for you, boo. We got a little bit of General Iroh, uh, which was, um, mildly exciting until he pretty much told Korra, like, my hands are tied. There's nothing I can do. So I feel like there's like a lot of things that like maybe didn't need to happen story-wise in these episodes. Like we didn't really have to put it in there. Um, cause you could have just had like Cora getting mad that the president said no on her going out to the boat and getting taken over by the spirit. So, but I don't know if the things that happen in the episode are important enough that they establish things later on. So, uh, hopefully, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, these episodes were filled with a lot of fluff, I think. Uh, but I'm, I'm eager to get onto the next couple episodes. I really want to see, um, the animation style come back. 
And especially now that she's on that island, or at least on the, the shore where the Fire Nation is. Fire Nation! So excited, like good Fire Nation, not like the ones that just want to burn people, blow people up, murder people. Apparently just Fire Nation is responsible for a lot of murders. <laughs> It's it's sad. But anyways, come back here for the next couple episodes, guys. In the meantime, I'll see ya.